Hey, it's Matt from Black Coal Woodworking. Today I'm making a bowl out of a very unlikely piece of wood. The bowl ended up absolutely beautiful. Had some snags along the way, and this piece of wood did not let me believe that it would become what it did. So there are some pictures at the end of the video. Stick around to see those. Speaking of snags, here's my first one. Yeah, I am very happy that did not come over the bar and become my new hat. Needless to say, I cranked that sucker down a whole lot more on the next round. You could probably notice there's also a lot of cracks in this log. So I'm hoping to get a fairly good sized bowl out of this, but seeing as the cracks run deep, I did have to take a fair amount off the log. To clean up the outside, I used my 1 inch flat scraper. Uh, it gave it a decent enough surface that I could sand it, which of course you won't see. For the foot, my plan is to inset some jaws and use an expansion into, I guess, what's the reverse of a tenon? Anyway, I'm going to expand my jaws into a recess and hold the log on my four jaw chuck. Here was a second snag. I didn't get a catch this time, thankfully, but the recess I'm making is from my smallest set of jaws, and I just could not get a tool in there to create a dovetail in that little space for nothing. It just was not working. So I ended up measuring my for my second set of jaws up, and that's what I'm doing now. I'm redoing that whole recess, which means I have to clear out the bottom of that bowl um, because there's no way I want to have the bowl bottom inset like that. That also means I have to reshape the outside to now account for a shorter bowl. Hey, if you're enjoying the video, give it a thumbs up. And if I've earned it, consider subscribing. Just a little more scraping and a little more with my half inch spindle gouge. That's what I've been using to shape the outside for the most part. And then I am done on the outside. I did sand it, didn't show that part. All right, so I decided not to go with the natural edge bowl, but I wanted to get just a regular nice edged or nice rimmed bowl. So I had to cut it down a bit shorter again because I knew that natural edge was sticking down a little bit low. And uh, so once I had that done, I could start to hollow the bowl out. You may have seen there, I'm able to stick my half inch bowl gouge straight into the center of the block of wood and create a hole, which allows me to um, just kind of cut in like that. And it's just easier to not get a catch when you have a hole down the center of your bowl. At this point, I can feel myself pushing the tool far too hard because it's getting really dull and I wanted to save the sharpening for the last pass or two so I can get a really clean cut on the inside. Again, that's to avoid sanding as much as possible. Yeah, here you can see I'm just pushing like crazy. I did sand between the last cut and this cut and you can see right away the shavings are much cleaner. It also doesn't feel like I'm trying to push a boulder uphill anymore. Right here you can see I'm just pointing my bevel into the cut. It works so good to cut that, it's so clean. To flatten the bottom I'm going to switch over to my one inch scraper. Can't go very far because the sides do angle up at some point. And I switch to my round nose scraper to do that. I've also found that if I tip that scraper on its side a bit, I get a much cleaner cut. Alright, so I'm done with the lathe and now I'm adding walnut oil as my finish. It blows my mind that a piece of wood can go from kind of drab like it was to having that grain just pop like crazy. Here we go again. It's almost like I'm coloring it or something, but I'm not. It's just plain old oil. It 
So while this oil looks great and all, it's actually not quite the finish I want. I wanted it to be a little bit shinier. This wood is poplar and adding oil to it does make the grain pop and all that. But I noticed that if I add walnut oil to walnut, I also get a bit of a shine. And the shine in this case just isn't quite enough. Even though I think that looks pretty good, it's time for part two of my finishing process on this bowl. And that is shellac. So shellac I'm using here is like a one pound cut. And I am just putting on layer after layer, kind of like French polish, and I'm using the heat and friction to cause it to get shiny. It's already shinier. I'm going to keep adding a few more layers because I want that to deepen a little bit more. I'm also really pushing here to try and get some heat and some friction to help make that even shinier yet. I'm doing the inside the same way. Lots of layers of shellac, lots of friction, lots of heat. I even burned my fingers once a little bit. Not that bad. So part three of my finishing process is wax. Beeswax to be specific. And that's gonna go on top of the shellac. It'll give it just a bit of an extra protective finish to it. And it will also deepen the shine. And here are the finished shots. I think this bowl turned out fantastic. It's hard to believe that it started as a very, very bland looking log with a ton of cracks. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.